Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members today. We can help you wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program if you're dealing with a skin health issue or a chronic degenerative health issue or a digestive issue or if you just want to comment or have a success story you'd like to share. 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side, today and every day on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you're advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com and order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be. If you yourself or someone you know or your family has benefited from nutritional supplementation, please don't hold back. With Longevity, we're offering you an opportunity to make some money to get your products at the wholesale price and help spread the word about how fundamental a good nutritional supplement program can be, especially if you're dealing with a chronic long-term health challenge. You can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, sign up on the phone, or you can head over to the brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com and sign up for the websites. Okay, so we are talking about vitamin E, your protector vitamin, it protects all our cells. The fact that vitamin E protects all cells means it has therapeutic applications for pretty much everything, pretty much anything that involves a cell, which is everything. Chronic degenerative diseases are cell diseases. Vitamin E is anti-inflammatory for the cell, so you're going to get multiple benefits, which makes it an important supplement for lots of different things. Inflammation and the relevance of inflammation to health is based on an idea called simplexity. I I meant to talk about this yesterday, and I got... got, uh, a little bit waylaid, and by the way, I apologize for, uh, for for whatever happened over at the network when we went off the air. If you called yesterday, I think I was on the phone with somebody, and if you're listening, uh, please call back. We'll get you first up. Anyway, we're going to talk about simplexity. I didn't get to do it, so I'm going to talk about it now. Inflammation highlights this idea of simplexity. Simplexity is a uh, modern term. It came about maybe the last 10 or 15 years, and it describes the simple threads that run underneath what seems to be complex. Scientists call this phenomena of little simple building blocks turning into a big entity. They call that emergence. It's how individual bees can create a macro beehive. The the little bees, they don't know anything about the beehive, but if you look at all of these thousands and thousands and thousands of bees from a distance, it looks like an organism. The beehive looks like an individual organism. You don't know. If you're looking at it from a distance, you don't know that it's made up of a bunch of bees. Even the bees themselves don't know that they're composing a beehive. This phenomenon of little things emerging into big things, a bunch of little ants creating an anthill, a bunch of little cells creating a body, all a bunch of little people creating a country. This is called emergence. 
and it's been used to explain this phenomenon of little things creating big things, microscopic entities creating macroscopic entities. This is so important when it comes to health. I cannot even begin to exp I can't even begin to say how important this is, this idea of little things creating big things, tiny little things emerging into big things. It's high-tech physics. It's got all kinds of mathematics associated with it, and, and, and some of the most brilliant PhDs are co working on it. It's based on an idea called complexity theory and chaos theory and all kinds of fancy physical ideas associated with it, but it's relevant to our day-to-day -day existence, especially if we're sick. The body looks like a macroscopic entity, but it's really made up of 100 trillion cells. Like a beehive looks like a macroscopic in, uh, entity, but it's made up of a bunch of little bees. Underneath these big picture macroscopic entities, whether we're talking beehives or anthills or bodies or countries, there's always going to be fundamental building blocks that compose it. This is what simplexity is. Simplexity is the science of the simple things that underneath, that underlie, that are underneath complexity. Simplexity is like a blend of simple and complex, and it is mathematically rigorous. There are all kinds of formulas and algorithms and theories, and it's a serious part of high-tech physics. Scientists studying shapes in nature, pine cones and seashells and embryos and fetuses, always find repeating mathematically symbolic formulas underneath all of this. How things grow is based on very simple equations and proportions and ratios. This is how architecture works. It's how the Colosseum and how the Great Pyramids and how uh, the Parthenon and any great architecture is always going to have simple formulas underneath, very, very basic formulas underneath. Here's the take home message. Here's the bottom line. Well, this is kind of interesting. I think it's interesting when it comes to architecture and, and bodies and, 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 and beehives. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, it's a matter of life or death. It's not just fancy schmancy academia. It's life or death if you're dealing with cancer, if you're dealing with heart disease. Even if you're just dealing with something seemingly superficial like acne, understanding the simple ideas, the simple concepts beneath the acne will free us from the tyranny of the, medical, uh, the modern medical model. So if we're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, this is not just academic. This is not just interesting. This is life or death. On the surface, the disease may look like it's a complex mess. And this complex mess it can be overwhelming. I know, I understand. I talk to people every day, multiple times a day, who are overwhelmed by the complexity of the symptomology. But the reason I call this program The Bright Side, the reason this is the good news is because underneath the complexity is simplicity. Simplexity, the simple threads that run underneath complex phenomena. Our, these, our, our sicknesses, our diseases, our beehives, and the basic units, the bees where the disease emerges from is the cell. The cell is to the disease what the bee is to the beehive. Your doctor doesn't know this, or he doesn't understand this, or he doesn't care about this. He's treating the beehive, but it's the bees that are sick. You see the issues here. This is why we're not getting better. This is why the medical model is a failure when it comes to chronic degenerative disease. And I, I mean a failure, I mean an F. I mean an F minus, not a D, not a C, an F minus. And if it go, went lower than F minus, it would get that. It is a utter and complete failure because it's treating the beehive. But the problem is the bees. Seems obvious when you think about it this way. We don't have gallbladder disease. We got bee disease, gallbladder cell disease. We don't have heart disease. We got bee disease, heart cell disease. We don't have Alzheimer's disease. We got bee disease, i.e. nerve cell, brain cell disease. We don't have sick beehives. We got sick bees, but we're treating the beehive. And that's why we're not getting better. And that's why if you're listening to this program, you know more than your doctor, especially when it comes to chronic degenerative diseases and reversing them. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. We're coming back with more good health information on the Bright Side right after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in joining the Bright Side Men team or purchasing any Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. And if you would like to purchase any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel or truth serum or our omega-6 healing cream or our truth balm made with my transdermal delivery matrix, you can head over to truthtreatments.com. I also have a skin, skin health blog at truthtreatments.com. We update it regularly. And also be great to have you like my Facebook page, my Truth Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. Okay, so uh, it's about the bees, not the beehive. And that's what we talk about here every day on the program. The medical model wants you to think you got a beehive problem. That's what diseases are, they're beehives. The thing about the bees is they're all the same. <laughs> that's the thing, that, that's the importance of the bees compared to the beehive. All these zillions of different bees are the same. And while there's a couple hundred different kinds of cells, from a health perspective, they're all the same. They need the same things. If I had to tell you one theme, one idea that I want people to go home with after they've listened to this program or heard my talks or listened to this program regularly, listened to me regularly, it's the idea that underneath all the chronic degenerative diseases and symptoms, we got the same simple things underneath. This frees us means you don't need a special protocol for this disease and a special formula for that disease and a special list for this illness or this type of cancer. We got specialists not just for cancer, we got specialists for special cancers. In the world of chronic degenerative disease, there's thousands of them. According to the World Health Organization, there's over 12,000 and there's dozens of symptoms, hundreds of symptoms. Rashes and pains and aches and memory and cognitive issues and fatigue issues and chronic colds and difficulties urinating and uh, hypertension and arrhythmias and wakings. It's seemingly endless. Cysts and growths and tumors and cancers and we got specialists to treat us for this cyst and this arrhythmia and this, uh, this blood problem and this heart problem and all these different specialists. And we got all of these different drugs for blocking and suppressing and inhibiting. And we got all these surgical strategies for removing things and radiating things. But does anyone ever get better from a chronic degenerative disease? No, never. They may get their symptoms. They may uh, reduce their symptomology or, or they may reduce their risk, whatever the heck that means. You know, oh, we'll reduce your risk of heart disease by 5.7%. What? What does he mean? Nobody gets better because we're not addressing the bees. We're not addressing the real causes, which are revealed by taking a deeper look at the components, the building blocks, the simple building blocks. So, so what are the simple threads that run beneath disease and symptomology? All right, now you know that it's about the bees, it's not the beehive. So what are the bees? What, what represents the bees? Well, we talked, a, we spent a lot of time and we'll continue to spending a lot of time about the main bee, the king bee, and that's the cell. Beneath all organ systems, beneath gallbladders, you got gallbladder cells. Beneath hearts, you got heart cells. Beneath brains, you got brain cells. Beneath, beneath, uh, underneath, and it's not even really beneath, because they're as. You gotta look deeper. It's not like beneath. You gotta see with this kind of vision that sees the components of the, uh, of the macroscopic vision. Beneath all of these macroscopic systems, tissues, structures in the body that are so-called disease, you're gonna find a messed up cell. If we think we have a bad heart, or we have Alzheimer's dementia, or eczema, or psoriasis, or it's because our parents had it in their genes, or it just happened to us, we're not gonna know what to do. From the complex macroscopic picture, it's overwhelming. There's, we don't have no idea because we're not looking at where it's happening. We're looking at the symptom, the effect. That's why we, we go to the witch doctors who wave a little hydrocortisone on us. Maybe they'll wave a little beta blocker and tell us that we've just reduced our risk of heart disease by. 7.6%. Cancer is the classic example of being fooled by complexity, by macroscopic pictures, images. On the surface, cancer looks like a complicated mess. 
It looks like a, this disaster.